Hi everybody, welcome back to Half Acre Adventures. My name is Gord, in today's video we are going to be planting our squash seedlings into the garden. And it's, uh, it's mid-May, it's May 16th, it's rainy today, it's rain in the forecast for a couple of days. It's a perfect time to be out in the garden transplanting some of our seedlings while it's nice and cool. So let's get to it. Today we are going to be putting in the ground some of our squash. We have winter squash and summer squash. Summer squash, that's your zucchini and uh, patty pan, scallopini squashes. And our winter squash, that's our butternut, acorn, and spaghetti squash. Some of these haven't germinated yet, but we're going to pop them in the ground anyway and maybe add another seed or two. And I'll show you that when we get to the garden. Here we have uh, our Thai basil. We're not quite ready to put this out. It's not warm enough yet in the soil, especially overnight for these to really thrive yet. So we'll keep them out for another week or two. And same thing with our tomatoes. We've got probably 30 <laughs> tomato seedlings in here. All kinds of different varieties, cherry tomatoes and big ones in different colors. We've also got some nice basil and uh, a few eggplant and also some watermelon. So that's a new experiment for us this year. We're gonna be growing, we're trying to grow some watermelon in our climate here, it needs a long growing season, but these aren't quite ready to go out in the garden yet. They need a little bit warmer soil, so we'll give them a couple weeks. You'll remember uh, from our previous videos when we made this bed and we're gonna plant a zucchini in there. That is the arugula that we planted. And so this seems to be doing much better. And then I'm going to put the other, other zucchini in there. This is a bed that I planted spaghetti squash in. And I put these seeds directly in the ground about three weeks ago. So that means it was uh, probably about the third week of April. And they seem to have done very well. There's five or six spaghetti squash in that bed. And they've germinated and so they've done well. I planted these seedlings about the same time, about three weeks ago. And so they're a little bit bigger. They germinated a little faster inside where it was warmer. We're going to put our butternut squash in this half of this bed. This is a really big bed that we made uh, a couple years ago with straw and mushroom manure. And we just layered it all on top. And we've got um, potatoes growing in this side and they're looking great. They're popping up. And now I'm going to fill in this space here with butternut squash. Okay, before we get planting, let's talk about soil. To have a healthy, productive garden, we have to have healthy soil. And so we're always adding compost before we plant and then after, at the end of the season, after we harvest. And this gives the microorganisms in this living soil something to feed on uh, during the winter months as well. And so what we're gonna be doing is adding to this soil before we get planting. We like to amend our beds with a mixture of a few different things. One of them often being a bag or two of composted manure. All right, we'll pop into our garage here where we keep our worm bin. And we're gonna use some worm castings. And next we're gonna get some finished compost. I've raked the bed nice and flat and before I go ahead and add the mix of amendments to the soil I've gone and laid out my seedlings just to get an idea of where I want them to be and uh, We're gonna pack them in here. There's eight seedlings in this space But there's lots of room around the outside for these to sprawl and climb and and do their thing So uh, I think this is gonna be a very productive bed for us this year Okay, so we are ready to plant now squash are really heavy feeders, so they require a lot of nutrients. So in addition to all these good nutrients that we have in our soil amendment, we're actually gonna be adding a little bit of compost. This is a veggie and flower compost. I'm gonna put it in this smaller container. It's just a little bit easier while we're planting. So in goes the soil. And mix a little bit of this in here. Mix it around. In goes our seedling. I'm gonna carefully pop it upside down. Really nice. This is about three weeks. And in it goes. Press it down a little bit and that's one. Okay, all of these butternut squash seedlings are now planted. Only thing left to do with this bed is to mulch it. And we mulch uh, probably with straw here to keep down the weeds and to retain the moisture. Now, what I'm gonna do next is our acorn squash. And our acorn squash is gonna go in over here on this bed. 
acorn squash produces really early in the season and it's quite prolific, uh, long vines. And so this is gonna have a lot of space that it can grow along uh, and climb up the fence. Now what I did here while I was waiting with this bed is I put fava beans in here. Now, fava beans are an ancient crop. Not only can you eat the beans, but you can also eat the leaves, really high in protein. I use them like spinach or like bok choy, put them in salads, smoothies, stir fries. And so I planted a bunch of fava beans in this short little bed here um, while we were waiting until the right time to put our squash in. Now, I'll harvest these. Wow, look at this. So all these fava bean greens are gonna go straight into the kitchen and I'm gonna saute these up for lunch. And I'm gonna clean up the rest of this bed for our acorn squash. All of these roots left over from the squash. These are going in the chicken coop. The hens will enjoy scratching around and pecking at these. Okay, so all of our acorn squash is planted and I'm gonna mulch this bed. Then I'm gonna go and do the patty pan squash and the zucchini. Those summer squashes are so prolific. We love them. We'll get like 50 zucchinis from one plant. And so we eat it all summer long. We grate it and freeze it and we use it in our soups and stews all winter. I even pickled some zucchini last summer uh, with some dill and it was amazing. We love the winter squash as well because it keeps so well. Even after the fall harvest, we'll be eating our butternut and our spaghetti squash six months later. So that'll get us through all winter. I hope you learned something new. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, until next time, happy gardening. Bye for now. Hey ladies. Got truths. All right.